Hello, Internet. I'm John, behind the camera is Alexis, and welcome to the first chapter on our video blog of Branson. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wild Birds Unlimited. It's a local hobby shop for bird enthusiasts, and they have just about anything that you could want having to do with birds, bird feeders, or squirrel deterrent. Because as we all know, squirrels are, man and birds, one true natural enemy. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look inside the store. We're going to meet the owners and have a little conversation with them. Join us. And they've got just about everything that a bird hobbyist could want. We're going to be meeting some of their staff today, asking them a few questions about what they do here and what their role in the community is. And here we are at Wild Birds Unlimited. Again, I'm John, behind the camera is Alexis, and we're about to go behind the counter and meet Miss Amy. She runs the store and is in charge of local community activities, products, everything. Miss Amy, say hello. Hello, welcome to Wild Birds Unlimited. How Thanks are you today? I'm doing all right. Thanks for having us. Good. Now, I understand that you've made this a lot more than just a store for bird hobbies. What do you see the role as this place being in the community? Well, in a nutshell, we bring people and nature together. Mm -hmm. We do it by providing quality bird houses, quality nesting houses, um, and seed blends that have, don't have any filler in them, and pretty much anything the birds like and the squirrels like, we have them here in this store. Okay. Now you said that squirrels like. I thought that squirrels were the natural enemy of bird watchers. Well, we have a motto here, feed them or defeat them. Um, we have lots of feeders for the squirrels, but we also have a wide variety of feeders to eliminate squirrels from your feeders if you choose to do so. Can you show us some of those? I'd love to. This is our defeat them display, defeat the squirrels display. And what starts out with, this is probably one of the lower end um, feeders. And what this does is this shuts the window. When the squirrel gets on the feeder, the weight of the squirrel pulls the window closed and it's all metal so that the squirrels can't chew through any of the materials, but this shuts the window so that the, bird, the squirrels actually can't get into the seed. Ooh. And then the, the higher, kind of the more heavy duty one is this one. And this has the same philosophy. When you pull, when the squirrel gets on the feeder, it pulls down the window and does not allow the squirrel to get to the seed. Also, all metal materials so that the squirrels can't chew through them, chew through this black plastic. This one is one of our more popular feeders. It's called a Yankee Flipper. And it's very popular, especially at Christmas and Father's Day. For some reason, men just love this feeder. And the philosophy with this is that the squirrel, when the weight of the squirrel gets on this portion of the feeder, it flips the squirrel <laughs> off. So for some reason, men just like you just laugh. They think it's very funny, and they come back even for two and three other ones for other pieces, parts of their yard. So they really love that one. I, I, I can see that popular. Mm -hmm. And this one, as you see the video here, is a squirrel who tries to get into the feeder. It's called the Sky Cafe. It's also one of our very popular feeders. Holds a lot of food because there's a lot of birds in this area and they can go through a lot of seeds. So it holds a high quality, high quantity of, of seed. And then the squirrel tries to get to the seed and he just kind of slides right off yeah. there. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. That's our Sky Cafe. So this is one of our very popular feeders as well. And this is nice because it's clear so you can see the birds all around this feeder, feeding in that feeder. Very cool. Well. As far as bird watching goes, do you have any tips for first time bird watchers? Well, it's best if you put your feeders where there are some trees and some shrubs. Birds like different levels of protection so that they can make sure if they, there is a predator that they can get away from the predator and get in the, into the bushes or the trees. But m most important thing is that you can see your bird feeder. So because really we are feeding the birds for us, really not for the birds, but so we can enjoy watching the birds. So right. it's really important. We help a lot of our customers make sure that through our uh, APS system, our advanced poll system, or whatever method they have to make sure that the feeders are where they can see them from the place that they spend most time in their homes. Now, tell me about the APS. That's the advanced poll system. Would you like to go look at that? Sure. only find it at our stores, Walberts Unlimited stores, of which there are 278 nationwide. We just opened our store here in December. 
Um, but the, the coating on these poles is such that um, it's heated, the, the color and the metal is heated into this so that it, it, it wears for years and years. I've had a set that's at over eight years old and there's no sign of wear on these pole systems. Um, you can build any pretty much, um, you can put these poles in the ground. Um, we have what we call a stabilizer system that they screw in the ground and then this stabilizes the pole so that you can put literally just keep adding and adding and adding. Um, it holds a lot of weight. Wow. And the other systems are that you can use them on wooden decks. We have system that you can put on the, uh, if you have a metal pole on your decks. Uh, so really it's just almost limitless. Um, this is called the Create a Station. So you can actually come here and we can help you with whatever deck system you have to help make sure that you get exactly what you need. We have long arms that can go out away from the deck. So if your window is out on this side, you can see them. It also keeps the birds from landing on your deck if you choose not to have your birds landing there. And we have arm perches where they can uh, perch on the perches and not so much on your deck, as well as uh, bird baths. If you are feeding your birds, we highly recommend that you provide water for the birds. Um, birds get very thirsty and bird, the water will actually attract the birds to your feed. So. Now, before we go, I understand there was one more thing you wanted to tell me about? There certainly is. We are having the owls come to our store from the Dickerson Park Zoo in Springfield, Missouri. Three of the most common owls in this area, three of the four most common owls, will be here March 13th. The great um, horned owl, which this is a picture of him, the barn owl, and the screech owl will be here. So we're really looking forward to that March 13th. There'll be two presentations. The handlers will be here at one o'clock and at two o'clock for each 45 minute sessions to tell everyone all about the owls in our area. Cool. So before you go, I wanna make sure you take a hobby guide. These are free to anyone that comes in the store. So just come in and send your friends in and get a hobby guide and learn more about bird feeding. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Will do. So remember, March 13th, owls, we'll see you there.